time, truly. Thank you, praise God. Thank you, praise God, truly, again, for the service up to this present time. Thank you, praise God, truly, for the offering in Jesus Christ's name. Now, I'm going to present unto you the man of the hour, Elder John L. Butler. Hear you him. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Greetings. Greet all of you tonight in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God for allowing us another chance and another great opportunity to be present before the Lord, to give him honor, to give him praises for his saving power and his keeping strength, knowing that it is the Lord that is keeping us in these last dark and the evil days. No goodness of ours, but it is the power of God that we are kept. And we just thank God for his saving power and his keeping strength. Thank God for all the people of God everywhere, those that have a mind to want to serve the Lord in the beauty of holiness. We thank God for them. We thank God for all the ministers that are preaching and teaching the words of truth in these last dark and evil days. And truly, we are living in the evil days and in perilous times as the scripture have described. We thank God for the word of God, the thing that gives us the explicit information about God and how he wants us to live and giving us the information that we need so that we will be ready when the Lord come or call. Yes. We just thank God for all things. We just thank God for things that are going on in the world as we have to do, as the scriptures say, and that is pray for those that are in authority, yes. that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life right in this present evil world. Because yes. they are passing laws and things that some people are not even aware of you know, trying to justify people and doing things that the royal law is totally against. They are preaching, I'm not preaching, but passing laws that, you know, men could be uh, called women if they want to. They are men. They, they can marry. A uh, man can marry a man. A transgender. They can change their sexual orientation. And they have this act that they uh, uh, bringing, I think, coming to the, the House or the Senate, one of the two, wherein it's called Equality Act. And that act is giving people the, the authority and the rights, and you can't say anything about none of it. You know, and you got to call a person who they are, and it's going to affect the religious world also. It's coming down the pipe. We got to know who the Lord is, and we got to trust in the Lord because, as the scripture have described, uh, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, yeah. deceiving, the scripture says, and being deceived. Yeah. So we are certainly glad for the information that comes from the Lord to let us know these things. Okay. So we know that. God's law is above every law. Regardless of what man may say, man may say it's all right for two men to marry, and they may pass laws. And then if you don't do and respect their uh, desire, then you could be, uh, I guess, penalized. So we thank God that that's what's going on right now in either the House or the Senate, where they can pass a law where it's called the Equality Act, Amen. and it has a lot of, a lot of hidden clauses and things that people are not aware of. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but we gonna tonight go to the royal law and see what the royal law and how God feels about such activity, yeah. because we know it's not according to the word of the Lord. And when people began to put out laws and put things out where people can't say anything about it, we that are believing Lord, being preachers, still got to tell the truth. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Yeah, I mean, you just got to do it. That's why we're in a position in life now where we really got to pray. Yeah. Seek the Lord. Pray one for another. We pray that the people of God will strive to love one another and strive to do as God has commanded us to do it. That is to love one another. 
He said, by this all men will know. So we got to be able to stand together regardless of where we are. Pray one for another. Stand for a right. Stand for holiness. 19th chapter of Genesis. So we thank God for all things. These things are coming down the line. I pray God to help. Help the people of God everywhere. That's why people shouldn't be so divided. Because we, when it boils down to the end, everybody's going to be in the same pot. <laughs> everybody's going to be in the same pot. You know, when it, when it boils all down, you know, some people, they are being pushed by social media. Some preachers, people say something about things and people, preachers go that route and sometimes preachers, you know, talking a lot about each other. And, and I would say to every preacher, every brother, preach the word. Amen. Preach the word. Amen. Is that right? Amen. That's what God said, preach the word. Is that right? If a man don't believe a thing, you, you can't make him believe it. The scripture said until the Lord opened their understanding. The disciples, they asked the Lord, increase our faith, open our understanding. The scripture teaches that the Lord opened their understanding. Is that right? So it's a lot of things. And we pray that the people of God will have a desire more together. You know, I was thinking, I was listening to different ones talk about what happened in this month you know, of March. And you know, you mark the calendar, you can see where it's been a year uh, when COVID first stepped on the scene, if I, if I may see, where people was more aware of it. Yeah. it. It was already out there. Yeah. Some people yeah. had symptoms way before the year 2020. Yeah. Some people were sick in 2018 and 19, yeah. but they didn't know what it was. Right. Until they came out and said, this is what it is. <laughs> and then you start Seeing more people dying. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Well, so it is, you know, even the church, the church members are dying. They done got to the point where church is second hand now, it seems like. Where well, we got to be concerned. And who? Everybody. Everybody. Ain't talking. And all of us. Because the more and more you're not going to assemble and pray, the more and more we're getting away from God. And don't even realize it. To the point where, you know, you do something so long, and when you stop doing it, you don't care if you do it anymore or not. That's just like a woman. She ain't cooked in a long time. It don't make her no difference. She don't cook. She can make us some sandwiches and be all right. Is that all right? So you get satisfied. <laughs> Is that right? But we thank God. We pray that God will help us all because truly we are living in the last days. We got to be more concerned. We got to be more faithful to God. But God said, be faithful unto death. God said that. Did it. Amen. So we got to be faithful unto the Lord. It's a press. Scripture says the gospel is preached until John and men press their way. So this is a press, this is a suffering way. Is that right? It's not going to be easy all the time. You know, it's going to be time when you got to suffer, you got to press. Got to be faithful unto God. Is that right? Amen. So these are things that God requires from us. 19th chapter of Genesis, beginning at verse 1. But we're talking about how that they are passing the law to where, and, and you know, look it up. Check it out. It called, it's called the Equality Act. The LLGBQ, they, they are really happy about it. You know, the, 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 the rainbow Flag, and they are all happy about what's going on and the law. You got people up in legislature, they, they gay. That's why those are the kind of people that pass these laws and want these things passed in, in, in the House and our Senate. Is that right? I'm for any president that's against it. <laughs> Is that right? Like, well, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm this. And the one that you vote for, he can be for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, your, your sons and daughters, instead of your son being called John, he can be called Jane. And you can't touch him. You better call him what he say he is. Mm -hmm. That's the wickedness that's in the world. Yes, 
That's the wicked. That's what it is. It's wickedness. It's the spirit of the devil. That's what it is. The spirit of the devil. It's not of God. It's not of God. God is not gay. God don't have that kind of stuff. That's from the devil. That's where it's from. And it's of your flesh. You, you love doing it in the flesh. Whatever it is, you just enjoy it. Two men with men. You just enjoy it. But it's an abomination in the sight of the Lord. Once we talk about how things are abomination. Filthy. Nasty. I don't care what movie star or who promote it. It's not of God. And every preacher that preached the gospel, you should say the same thing. It's not of God. All right, you mega church. Some of your churches got, got lesbian and gays in them. They say they preach it, don't you? But it's not of God. We're going to see whether or not God is pleased with it. Now, whose law is the, the greatest law? Man's law, because he passed it, or God's law? The thing that's going to judge us at the end. Is that right? Let's get started. Let's see what we got. Amen. Genesis 19 and verse 1. Let's see what it says. And there came two angels to Sodom. And there came two angels to Sodom. At even. At even. And, sat, and, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. Yes. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. Uh huh. And he said, What? Behold now, my lords. My lords. Turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house. And tarry all night. Now you know that that is that is really something to where in you are so spiritual and you can sit and talk to angels and tell them because it's been the night with you. <laughs> people don't have people are not that spiritual minded now. They think more of themselves. They think it's don't people, people now think more about themselves. That's why they're into themselves, they're not into finding out about God. And, Wanting to know his will. Right. Read the book. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in. I pray you into your servant's house uh -huh. and tarry all night. Yes. And you shall wash your feet, and you shall rise up early. Uh -huh. And go on your way. Yes. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. We're going to stay with it. We'll just stay out. So you don't never know where, where angels are. Yes. We'll abide we'll, we'll in the streets all night. So you got to understand. See, you got spiritual angels and you got you got demons and demonic things that's out there in the darkness. Amen. That's why a lot of things that we as that was in darkness done, we was under the, the spirit of, of demons and devils and stuff. Amen. Is that right? Amen. We didn't know what we were doing. We were just being led as we were told what to do. The devil could tell you to do something, demon tell you to do something. Is that right? But thank be to God, he done put in us the right spirit yes. and the right desire. Yes. Read the book. And he pressed upon them greatly. Uh -huh. And they turned in unto him uh -huh. and entered into his house. Entered into his house. And he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread and they did eat. They were doing good. Did they that so? Yeah. Read the book. But before they lay down. But before they lay down. The men of the city. Even the men of Sodom. The men, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom. Come past the house round, round. Both old and young. Old and young. It, 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 old, old men just worse yeah. than young people. Old and young. Old and young. You got old men out there that have been around for years and they don't they don't know and they just as devilish as they can be. Yes. They want young, young boys that say they're girls. Read the book. All the people from every quarter. All the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him. What they said. Where are the men which came in to thee this night? They called unto Lot. Lot, where are the men that came in to you? See, you don't even know who it, they don't even know who it was. Yeah. But the only thing you want is some flesh. Yeah. All you want is just some flesh. Read the book. Bring them out unto us. Bring, listen, now listen to what he said. Bring them out unto us. That we may know them. And they ain't talking about getting to know them just like you get acquainted with somebody. Right. They want to get to know them in a way that is not right. Because if you listen to this passage of scripture, you're going to see 
Well, if I want to get to know you, where is it wrong to get to know you? In the sense of getting acquainted with you. But it's wrong to get to know you when I want to have sex with you. Read the book. And Lot went out at the door unto them. Lot went out at the door unto them. And shut the door after him. Shut the door after him. And said, What? I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Oh, so getting to know somebody's wicked? Yeah. It's a type of getting to know him. That's why he called it wicked. Amen, sir. Amen. It wasn't, if I want to get to know somebody just in a quaintest way, in a friendly way, how can that be wicked? Yeah. It must be some other kind of way, wouldn't it? Yes, it is, sir. If, if you're going to call it wicked. So when two men together and a man want another man, it's wicked. Yes, it is, sir. I say it's wicked. Yes, it is, sir. You can say what you want to say. It don't matter what legislator or what president said. God said, the master, the king of kings, Lord of Lord, through his word says wicked. Yes, it is. Sir. And if he says wicked, it's just it's wicked. Amen. Don't count many laws that's bad. Amen. God says it's wicked. I don't care how many women want to change their sexual orientation on men. God called it wicked. Amen. That's what God called it now. Yes, I don't know about anybody else scared to call, but I don't call it what God called it. Yes, yes. Got to call it what God called it. Yes, we hope and pray that whoever is sin in our house don't even pass it. Yes, Have enough sense to see that it's not right. Yes. Have enough sense to see that if, if it would have been all men that was causing us to be here that we wouldn't be here. Amen. God made Adam and Eve. Yes, Don't you think God is right? No, because of lust and people wanting to do everything they want to do in their flesh, they, they want to pass a law to make them feel good. Yes, but God called it wicked. But he said, I pray you, brother. I pray you, brother. Do not so wicked. Don't do so wickedly. Behold now. Listen, listen, listen carefully. Don't do so wickedly. Amen. Behold now. What? I have two daughters. Wait a minute. Not even change. Now you're talking about daughters. Yes. They want to get to know him. And he said, don't do such wickedly. So when two men are together, it must be, according to the word of God, wicked. Because he said, no, don't do such wicked." I have two daughters and listen to how they were. I have two daughters which have not known man. Do you hear that? Amen. I got two daughters that have not known man. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Yes, yes sir. Amen. Remember he said, we want to get to know them. So that I get to know them, you can see right now that it was wicked yes, according yes. to the scripture. And it wasn't just getting to know them just socially. It was getting to know them sexually. Amen. Amen, sir. Amen. 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 What did it say? Amen. No, no, I have two daughters. I have two daughters. Which have not known man. Which have not known man. Let me. They I, must, you know, ain't no man. You mean to tell me, a man gonna give up two of his daughters that ain't known man? To a man. Don't you know how you think a man feels? He got a woman ain't been, ain't they known a man. That's like, man, you got, you got, you got, woo, you got to prize him. Amen. 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 Ain't no man. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> what is that? Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Uh-huh. Let me, I pray you. Uh -huh. not unto you. Let, let me bring them out to you. And do do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Now he give Go ahead, go ahead. Only unto these men do nothing. Wait a minute. I got two daughters I'm going to give you. You can have them. I mean, it's like he's he giving up a lot. Yes. He's giving up a lot just for them not to do something wicked. Amen, sir. It's more justifiable to have two women. Is that right? That ain't not more men than to have men. I'm going to give you my two daughters. And you, you can take them. That, that, that's touching in a sense of speaking. <laughs> you know, a man going to give up his daughters to, to men and do unto them as you would. Woo! That's tough in the men. Amen! Amen. Amen. You men that's 
in the air. You got daughters, two daughters, and you're going to give them to some men. That's tough in itself. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even say, hey, here, my daughter, they ain't going to take them. And y'all do what y'all want to do with them. That, that touch of yourself. That's touch within itself, but he a lot is willing to sacrifice. He willing to sacrifice his daughter so that men won't do no wicked thing. Ain't that something? Woo, that's tough. What does the book say? And then Matthew 1 and start at verse 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son. Mm-hmm. Knew her not. Ain't that nothing to do. Ain't that something? Yeah. But these men, these men wanted something wicked, did Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Ain't that something? To know that. Let's get back over to Genesis. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known Which have not known me. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you. Let me bring them out to you. And do ye, and do ye, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Read the book. Only unto these men do nothing. Only unto these men do nothing. But therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. But they, they came under the shadow of my roof. And they said, stand back. Uh-huh. And they said again. This one fellow came in to sojourn, and he and he will need to be a judge. Now, he will need to be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them? Mm-hmm. And they pressed so upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. They, 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 they so desperate. They want they want to break down the door. Yes. You know, I give my daughters. See, when people have a desire for something. It don't matter which extreme they go to. It doesn't matter. They're just like laws that's passed and they're saying it's all right for two men to marry. All right for two women to do this. All right to be a trans. That's just a lust that's so in a spirit that is so embedded in the people until they don't care what extreme they go to. But you're going to be judged by God. What he said. But the men put forth their hands and pulled Lot into the house to them yes. and shut the door. They, 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 the two men they wanted, the angel, they pulled them in the house. Because see, they was watching. Yeah. They pulled them in the house. Yeah. But what happened? And they smote the men that were at the door. They smote the, the men that was at the door of the house. With blindness. Amen. Ain't God good? Yes. God yes. smote them with blindness. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Lot, here Lot trying to give up his daughters. And then the people want to come in there, break in. Then the angels, they went to work. Amen. Read. Both, amen. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blinds, both small and great. Small and great. So that they they wearied themselves to find the door. Oh, thank God. God blinded them so they can't find the door. They, they, they wearied them. They wanted to get in there. They did, sir. See what lust make, what, what, what lust make you do? Read the book. And the men said unto Lot. And the men said unto Lot. Hast thou here any any besides son in laws, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. Bring them out of this place. And we will destroy this place because the cry of the of the, the cry of them is white and great before the face of the Lord. Oh, 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 really? You hear what that saying, Dee? Yes. What they're doing. It done wax worse and done got to the cry, it done got to the face of the Lord. Because the cry of them is white and great in the face of the Lord. The cry of them are white and great in the face of the Lord. Don't you know the Lord see everything people are doing? Don't you see the, the Lord see all this stuff? See, that even the laws that they pass. God knows, even the laws, he knows their heart. Even the laws that they pass is, is, a, is God's against them. God's against the law. And you know what he'll do? He'll destroy America and the world because of their activities and their actions. Sometimes you say, oh, Lord, yes, he will. He sees you. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to destroy it. You think, you think God loves two men, two women, people changing, all this? God don't like that. I'm here to tell you. 
God don't like to know you want to pass your law and do what you want to do. Cause some big group want to change. Because they want to have a desire in their flesh for each other. No. They want to raise little children and they're going to be little demons. <clears throat> children don't even want to dump. Children to the point they act like they don't, they don't even know who they are. Tell them who they are. Well, I, well, I'm going to have daughters and say, come in my sons. I have sons that say, come in my daughters. But see, that's that, that's that equality act where you can't touch nobody. It's like one of the presidents says, all right, well, people are going to separate back. Different. You're a boy, you're going to grow a bad if you feel as though you're a girl. Yeah, it's like a murderer. If he feels like he's going to kill somebody, he should go marry by now. That's the spirit that's working in people. Amen. Read the book. And the man said unto Lot, Man said to Lot, Hast thou here any besides son in laws, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place? Bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxed and great before the face of the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. Oh. Oh, I thank God for that. Because you know what? Their purpose was from the beginning was to destroy it. Because you we just said God sent us here to destroy it. Yeah. See, the, the, people didn't, the people didn't realize that. But they wanted to be. But the whole purpose was to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. God sent them there. But you better get everything out of here. Get them out. Get, get all your son in law. Get everything. Because I'm going to destroy. Don't you know, people, that God will destroy the things that people do so wickedly because it the went up to God's nostrils and it stinks. It stinks. What is it? And then Hebrews 1 and verse 13 and 14. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits? Are they ministering spirits? Sent forth to minister? For Sent them? forth to minister. They, they, were, they were about to minister. Yeah. What kind of ministry? To destroy. Yeah. <laughs> that was their mission. Yeah. Their mission was to go in there and destroy the place. Yeah. Right. Read the book. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Uh-huh. Yeah. Even for the good they minister. And they ministered for the destruction. Amen. And they were ministered and sent to Gomorrah, Simon Gomorrah, Amen. to destroy. Amen. Read the book. Back over in Genesis uh, uh, 19, verse 14. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons, his son in laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. The Lord will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his son-in-laws. Read. And when the morning arose, and the angels had hastened, hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Well, see, <laughs> the son-in-law, they, they, they was acting nonchalant. Trying to tell you, trying to save you. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you tell people yeah. you're trying to save them, you can't save them. Right. You can't save them. Come on, come on. Yeah, hey, well, no, no. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. See, That's right. See, God knows the hearts of people. You want to be saved, but but Lot, they right. were the Lord, got his daughter, they got about it. Yeah. Read the book. Yeah. And when the morning arose, the angel hastened with Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Lest thou, lest thou be consumed. Lest thou be consumed in the iniquity in the wickedness of the city. Amen, sir. And the United States of America and other places, you will be consumed Hallelujah. because of the iniquity that's in your city or state. You will be you're going to be consumed. Oh, it's coming. You may have a little good time, but according to the word of the Lord, you're going to be consumed. Amen. This wickedness 
that you're trying to break forth and you want to pass, it's wicked. And you're going to be consumed. Amen. Yes, you are. Amen. Or you get your laws passed, maybe, and I hope you don't. But if you do, God will destroy you for the wickedness. That's it. Read the book. And while he lingered, while he lingered, the men, the men laid hold upon his hand, yeah. and upon the hand of his wife, uh -huh. and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. Without the city. Well, you know, ever since we had just, we had just heard that read, they was lingering. So they said, you know what? Because see, time is an essence. See, time is essence. They might have lingered. You know, at the time, people be just kind of hanging, kind of hanging. You got to move fast. When you see the witness, you got to move fast. That's just like us that believe God. We got to pray more. We got to pray. We got to be interested in our salvation. Because time ain't waiting on nobody. Time is not waiting. Why do you read that again? And while he lingered, uh -huh. the man laid hold upon his hand. While he lingered, the man hit, laid hold upon his hand. And upon the hand of his wife. And upon the hand of his wife. And upon the hand of his two daughters. And the hand of his two daughters. The Lord being merciful unto him. Uh -huh. And they brought him forth and set him without, without the city. You know what? God could have destroyed him in the city. Yeah. <laughs> he could have destroyed a lot in the city. Amen. That's why he had to get a hold of his hand, get him out there. Because yeah. evidently it was a time appointed when God said, certain, we see, God is an on time God. Yeah. See, he ain't, he ain't going to be late. Yeah. We may be late, but when God said a certain time and a certain place, you, yeah. why you think you got him out of there? Let me get these people hand to get him out of here. Because they, they mess around too long. Because the, 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 the angels had a charge on them. They had some men. Right. So God being merciful unto Lot. Let me get y'all out of here. See, we got to destroy this city within a certain time. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got to get y'all out. Because God, you know what God is doing? God is having mercy on y'all. See, the scriptures say, He has mercy on who He will Amen. and who He pardon you. So God can have mercy on us, even in a wicked, 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 wicked world. Amen. Don't you want God mercy? Amen. I do. Amen. What He said. And it, and it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that He said, Escape for your life. Escape for you. He got a mind to see. Yes. Escape for your life. Look not behind you. Don't look. Don't, you ain't got to look behind you because I'm getting out of this whole wicked city. Don't look behind you. Just get out. Get out of here. Ain't that something? Do you know that's a blessing when something's going to get destroyed and you're being delivered? That's why those of us that live for God and want to live like God, we got to live like God because God is a, He can help us escape it. One scripture say you have escaped the pollution. Didn't you say so? You know, escape the pollution in the world. Too. So why should you want to go back? I don't want to be destroyed with the people that's doing all kind of wicked and I'm trying to live right. I don't care who it is. Do you see it? His son-in-law leaving. Mm -hmm. So they just stay there. They got destroyed too. Yes, but people don't want to come. You, what, what you want to do? The scriptures say, say who? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. I don't care. I don't think the brother. God say, say it yourself. You better try to escape. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see what happened here. Yeah. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad. Uh huh. Let me say. What? Escape for your life. Escape for your life. Look not behind me. Don't look behind me. Neither, neither stay down in all the plain. <laughs> don't get out. Get out of the plain. Don't even, don't hang around close by. Escape to the mountain. Glory to God. Go to the high. Go to the mountain. Lest thou be consumed. Uh, you hear what he said? They were taking over the planes and everything. Yeah. It's like a big bomb coming through there. Just wiping out the stuff. Yeah. They were destroyed because of the wickedness. <clears throat> go get out of the plane. Yes. Go in the plane with the low area of life. He told them go, go high. Stay to the mountain. Go to the mountain. Lest thou be consumed. Lest you be consumed. And Lot said unto them. But 
Oh, not so, my Lord. Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now, thy what? servant hath found grace in thy sight. Yes. And thou hast magnified thy mercy. Yes. Which thou hast shown unto me. Yes. In saving my life. Oh, I, I think, you know what? He's giving God thanks, ain't he? Yes. yes. Oh, you've been good to me. I thank you for saving, yes. saving my life. Because God could have. Could have just not even had the angels to come. Nice. Could have destroyed it. That's why we as the people of God, we have to be careful because we in this world, there's some things that can, because of things that go on in the world, we can, we, we can get destroyed. You know, thanks be to God for those even in this COVID time. Right. Some of us had COVID. Some God had mercy on. Some, they died within two days. Of receipt of getting. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Some God have mercy on. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's what you give me praise and thank. Amen. It's like Lot said here. Amen. Hey Lord, you had mercy on us. Yes, Didn't you have mercy on us? Yes, he sure had mercy on me. Amen. Is that right? Yes, Amen. Amen. He had mercy on others. Right. Yes, he did. Amen. There were some saints in some churches. More than one or two saints died. Saints, I say it. Right. So we as the people of God, we, we, we could be consumed too. That's why you don't you give God thanks. When you, when you, you come and give him praise. You don't sit back on God. I ain't going to say, I'm going to give him thanks for that. Amen. Read the book. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight. The servant hath found grace in your sight. And thou hast magnified thy mercy. And you have magnified your mercy. Which thou hast shown unto me in, in saving my life. You have magnified your mercy in showing me you have saved my life. God is a savior, isn't he? Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. You have to thank him. That's a blessing. And sometimes people don't want to magnify. Listen, you should magnify for just, just not allowing nothing to come upon you. Yeah. And you should we magnify him even more because he delivered us. Is that right? Yeah. And you got to that. read the book. Which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life, and I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Uh -huh. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto. And it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. It is not a little one, and my and my soul shall live. Uh huh. And he said unto him, See, I have I have accepted thee concerning this thing also. <laughs> you know God is so good. Yeah. He told him to go to the mountain. He started talking to the Lord. Amen. Lord, I, I can't. I really can't make it. This. You know what I mean? You see, that's that's the kind of relationship. We want to have with the Lord. Yes. Well, Lord, I can't make it, but it's another city that I know about. Let me go there. Have mercy for me. Ain't that good? Yes, we, got, we got to be able to talk to the Lord. Lord, I can't. Just tell him I can't do it. Lord, I'm willing to get out, but I can't go to the mountain, like you say. But it's a city that I know of. Let me go there. It may be things that come up in your life you may not be able to conquer, but you say, Lord, you still want to do his will. But Lord, let, let me do this right here, and, and I'll magnify you, man. Yeah. What he said, right? Yeah. And he said unto him, See, I have I have accepted thee, uh -huh. concerning this thing also. Uh -huh. But I will not overthrow, I will not overthrow this city. I will overthrow this city. For the which thou hast spoken. For the which thou hast spoken. Hasten thee. Get in, get in a hurry. Go on up there. For I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Ain't that something? Yeah. You know what? God's mercy was still upon Lot. Because he, he wasn't going, I ain't going to do nothing. I want you out of here. Yeah. See, one thing about the Lord, he knows our heart. Yeah. See, those of us, you know, one scripture says, he knows the end from the beginning. Yeah. So there are things that the Lord already knows. And he's not going to do. Because you know what? You are involved. Is, is that just good? I'm not going to destroy it, but I, I know you're in the city, and I know you're hard. I, I ain't going to destroy it. I want you to get on out of here. Yes. Is that all right? Amen. But he said, 
because of the wickedness. May God ever bless you all and keep you. Is our prayer. With that being all.